Well, if you plan to have a drink or two this New Year's Eve, remember safety first. News 12's Kayla Holt shows us ways to stay safe this holiday weekend. If you're caught by police uh, driving intoxicated, you are obviously subject to arrest. Um, the car can be impounded and, you know, there's lots of fees and goes along with that and possible jail time. New Year's Eve, a time to kick back and ring in the new year with friends and family. For those whose plans include drinking, it's important to prepare properly. There's really no excuse nowadays with all the apps you can get. You can get rides or you can call a friend or you can call somebody. Um, there's really no excuse to be driving intoxicated. So um, just make a plan on how you're going to go home safe. That way you don't get in a crash and hurt yourself or possibly kill yourself or kill somebody else. New Year's Eve is ranked as one of the deadliest for alcohol-related car wrecks. Denison resident Racy Guest says he makes the effort to try to prevent as many drunk driving incidents as possible. So for New Year's, I do Racy's drives. So I provide a safe ride to their house uh, from anyone that has been out celebrating and may have be too celebrated and needed a safe ride. Racy will only drive in the Denison area this year, and you can contact him through Facebook or by phone. Please text or message me about 30 minutes prior to when they need the ride so that I can get everything kind of organized and scheduled and make sure the pickup is safe. His service will be available from 12.30 to 2.30 a.m. And he says don't be shy to give him a call. He's used to seeing some interesting characters, but... What happens in the car stays in the car. As long as they're respectful. So this year, don't take the risk. Instead, call a ride. Reporting, Kayla Holt, News 12.